We've just received in our Indian almond leaves. It's taking us a little while to get a hold of them. We wanted to make sure that the grade that we were getting and being able to supply was one of the best qualities we could get a hold of. These are the premium A grade. At the moment we've got two different sizes. We've got the below 7 inch and then we've also got the 7 to 12 inch size. These ones I'm being really impressed with, the quality of them. Like there's, with the Indian almond leaves, it's a good idea to make sure that they're not too dry. If they're too dry, then obviously it's going to take a little bit more to get the get the goodness out of the leaves. And these, they're, they're not too dry and they're not too green. So they're a good quality leaf. There's not really any breaks or any hacks in the leaves or anything like that. And when they say that they're up to seven seven inch, you know they're pretty well much spot on. So they're a really good quality leaf. For those that don't know a lot about the Indian almond leaf, they're also known as the uh, katapang or the um, the katapa leaf. Now they're very good for softwater fish. So whether it be for um, better fish, um, South American dwarfs, cichlids, corys, plecos, killifish, tetras, arowanas, um, gouramis, discus, any of those are really really good especially for the saltwater fish and they're generally done in a few different ways so usually with the leaves you can either just basically get a leaf and just add it to the tank you can also do a few other techniques of dosing. The thing that you've got to keep in mind that when you're using Indian almond leaf, if you've got carbon in your filter, it's going to take away the goodness that you're actually getting out of the leaf. So you can either do direct dosing, which is just adding the leaf straight to the tank. You can make up your own Indian almond leaf if you tea, and that's just a nice, easy way of going by um, boiling the leaves. Uh, you can pop them in a little filter bag uh, or you can even make your black water extract if you want to find out how to do your black water extract or the how to do the tea or anything like that it's all available on our website but these are the A grade that we're just getting in and we're just getting them in in the one lot of packs of 20 but we do have discounts for when you're buying more than one pack so there'll be different discounts depending on how many that you're actually purchasing but the Indian almond leaf, it's really well worth it. When you think about it, when in the wet season, when it comes to time for breeding, the rain is a part of it, but also that rain falls on the land masses. The land masses goes through the leaf litter, and that's what gets you like the black water. And this is good for also for disease and things like that. So fin rot or anything to do with fins, and it's just a really good, natural, beneficial way for fish and it's also great for shrimp so good for breeding shrimp they can feed from it uh, but yeah it's got a natural medicinal side to it as well as well as the black water side but yeah really impressed good quality leaves and they're available on our website now